Today I'll show you the easiest free tools to customize a default account page into a design like this or actually any other design you want. Welcome to our channel and let's begin. Now, to remove these navigation buttons, I need to add a code snippet. So to do that, click customize here and on the left sidebar, scroll down and click additional CSS. Here, I need to paste my code snippets. You can find these code snippets in the description below. Now, I'll paste the first code in, which hides the navigation button. And then I'll paste the second code snippet. And as you can see, the hello text expands to the full screen. Let's publish it. I'll go here and click publish. Let's close this window by clicking here and go back to our account page. All right, now it's time to design our account page. First, some disclaimers. Whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. The next step is to go to plugins, add new and search for Elementor. Click install and activate it. Now, come back to the account page, hit refresh and you'll see this new option called edit with Elementor. Click it and this page opens up. And now we can easily edit this page. So let's go back to Elementor and click on settings. Now change this to Elementor full width and then hit update. I'll simply go here and click this button and it adds a container. Next, I'll go to the left sidebar and add an image like this. Okay, now that's done. Let's make the account navigation buttons. In the sidebar, I'll search for the icon box widget and drag it into my left box. I'll remove the text and the icon using these options in the sidebar and then edit the heading to say dashboard. Now let's add an icon like this. All right, I'll also make this a circular icon like this and then go to the style tab and edit the settings. You can do what you want, but I want to keep it a bit large. I'll just change the size like this and then edit the colors. Okay, this looks a lot better now. Next, let's go to the advanced tab and then make these changes. I'll add a background color like this. I'll add a border like this and change the radius to 20. I'll also add a box shadow. Awesome, my first button is ready and to make more buttons like this, I'll simply copy and paste it like this. Okay, I'll also add a hover pop-up animation like this. So whenever someone hovers over the icon, it pops up. Similarly, I'll duplicate this button and repeat till I have all my buttons. Okay, now that's done. Now let's link these buttons to the page that should show up when someone clicks on it. I'll go back to my WordPress dashboard, click on settings, click advanced, scroll down and here you will find all your account endpoints. So I'll copy the endpoint for orders, then go back to the Elementor tab, select the button orders and type in account. Now I'll select the account option like this and paste the endpoint name after it. Then we'll do the same thing for other buttons as well. And when that's done, click here to save changes. Now, if I go back to my site and click the buttons, they will show me the related content like this. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.